Jamie. Hi. Welcome. How are you? Good. Fine. How was the at work? Good. Guess what, baby? What? I have a surprise for you. Okay, let it out. You close your eyes. Sure. If you do not want to close it, then you leave the surprise. Okay, my eyes are closed. Better. Wow. Where did you get them from? Well, I asked Philo to wash your clothes for me and then she saw this and brought it back to me. You give her my clothes to wash? Yes, babe. I mean, what's that? It's part of our duties. Besides, I was busy with the baby. And I'm sure you know if it was the laundry, they wouldn't have brought back this money. Wow. I can't believe she's this sincere. Mm -hmm. Well, now you know. You have to remove every negative thought you have about Philo. She's a nice girl. Trust me. That's nice. Okay, you've not told me why your mother came. Baby, is my brother Otunaka. Otunaka wants to drive us nuts. He's, he's been complicating Mama's life. I don't know what his problem is. Baby, can you believe that Otunaka impregnated his girlfriend? The same girl your mother alleged that he spent all his money on? The same girl. And now her people are insisting that Ozunaka has to come and pay the full dowry and marry her. Oh, this, Else. this hmm. is a bad news. Then how is Ozunaka coping with the setback he's having on his business? Baby, you know what? Enough of Ozunaka. I don't care how he copes. I don't care how he does it. After I wasn't there when they were doing it. What matters to me right now is that my darling husband is back from work. So I'm all about. Guess what again? I made your favorite. Mm, nice one. So how is my boy? Ah, he's fine. He's with Philo. Okay, get my food. Give this thing for me. Okay, so why don't you freshen up while I... She's a nursing mother. Look who I'm going to you myself. Tell for the biggie biggie mistake. Ah, come on, sir. Ah, Philo, how are you? I'm very fine, sir. Um, Philo, thank you for the money you found in my pocket. You're welcome, sir. Yeah, I didn't even know I kept them there. And uh, I didn't know you are uh, this sincere. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. that he didn't know the money was there. Oga, huh? Ah, Oga. Oga don't come out this morning. Oga no day. What about Madam? Madam, Madam no day too. Madam don't come out. What of uh, Philomena? Is she in? Ah, fi ah, Philo. That one. That one no get work. Eh? She day inside. She just, she just day inside. Ah, Oga, 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 Oga. Oga, come. Na, na me you supposed to deliver the message to? Philo na the ordinary house gear. Na me be the official security officer for this compound, recommended by the Federal Republic of Nigeria. NBA. If you say that's rubbish again, I'll get you arrested. Are you silly? Do you know the content of message I want to deliver to her? Forget the continent you want to deliver to her. I am the, the, the only person you can give the continent to. Will you shut your compound? stupid mouth there? Don't be silly. Hey! All these upcoming, upcoming orgas. Eh? You never even reach your guy. Don't they look down on us? 
Don't worry, may God just bless us. Eh? When we get money, I go turn you, you, eh? I go turn you to my eh, shoemaker. No problem. What are you doing here? I came to see you. I came to know why you're here. I need you to leave. I don't want them to come back and meet you here. Philo, look for whatever reason you're here. Okay, I, I came to say I am sorry. I am sorry for my actions. You're sorry about what? You're sorry about what exactly? I mean, you ruined my life. I would not say this again. Get out of this house now. Get out. What about? Just get out. I don't want to repeat myself. Get out of this house. I am sorry. I'm sorry for everything I cost you. The pains I cost you, I am sorry. Look, I searched for you. I searched everywhere for you. No one could tell me you're where I'm at. Philo, I still love you. From the death of Shut up! Now you don't listen to me. If you don't take your filthy self out of this house, I would scream. I would scream down this building and break this roof down. Good. Go ahead. If you go ahead and scream, shout for Alec. I bet my friend will be glad to know your true identity. What? Listen to me. I would not have you. I would not have you come in here and blackmail me. This is the last time I'm going to say this. Get out. Get out of this house. Get out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry why I'm gonna cost you. Which guy continent message will this man carry call? Say make him call. Give some time. Eh? Now message in Canada. I will be here. I'm not going anywhere. I must see the end of this message. Hmm? Is my husband back from work? Uh, no, actually. I thought he was around, but uh, your husband said he's not yet back. Oh, okay. I hope there's no problem. Not at all. I have to leave now. Okay. Ginny, Ginny, who is. Open the gate. She's a single hey, she's a man. How you put the gate? Okay. She's 
Meaning what? Meaning, say if Madame no come, you first need the inside. They deliver the message before. No? <laughs> I can see what you're saying. Eh? I can see you're silly. I've already opened this gate for me, then we get out of here. Sorry, sorry. Silly. You soon lose your job. I'm not going to lose my job. I'm not going to lose my job. I'm not going to lose my job. Now, for this security post, now here I go day. I go, I go find out everything what they have for this compound. No problem. You can't deliver message. We feel it. You carry continents, come. In fact, I know they go anywhere. Now here I go there. I go to see everybody when they carry continents, come give you, no? No problem. Okay. My dear, I'm happy for you. <laughs> Look at you. You have a child. Not just a child. A son. Okay, first of all, I'll say this on God. Secondly, I am sure one day you're going to be like me. Are you better than me? Oh, in the mood. Oh. Let's wait. Hey! <laughs> oh my um, goodness. Ginny, who was that girl that took my box? Was that the house that you told me about? Philo? Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Babes, Philo is amazing. She's got sense. She's been of so much help to me in this house ever since she stepped her foot into this compound. Are you serious? I'm telling you. Ha. Seriously, babe, you need to be careful. How can you have such a grown up girl in your house? Oh, wait, baby, and I'm not understanding what you're saying one bit. What are you saying? You're endangering your marriage. Men are not to be trusted. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Vivian, stop it. First of all, I trust my husband. Then second of all, he's not like every other man out there. Please. That's what loves me. Oh, baby. Welcome. How are you? Fine. <laughs> How's work today? Good. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Make sure I join Vivian. Vivian, it's my darling husband. Good, Good day, day, sir. Good day. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Hey. Oh. That's your good, huh? Yes, sir. Come on, I'll take your It's okay. <laughs> I'm upset. No, baby, I am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look at the cars. Fleet of cars. Big house. Hey! Ginny, that I know those days. She doesn't have high taste. She can only follow those small, small boys with no money. Ha! Ah, Ginny. Hmm. I'm happy for you. Hmm. See, Mansha. See. What is it? Nothing. What is it? Uh, what is it? See, I was just taking a look at her. She has the way that you're looking Oh, really? Yes. Come. Um, why were you peeping at me? I know beep, I know beep, beep, beep. I know even pop, pop, pop. All of my cajon. Beep, beep, pop, pop. 
Huh? Oh, oh, okay. Um, did you hear what I was saying? Yes. You heard what I said? Yeah, I, I heard everything. Huh? Yes. Yeah. What, what, what did I say? What you did say whether I PPP you or pop up for you. Gosh. Hey, you moto. <laughs> You're such a big fool. Hey. Thank you. Uh, come back here. Did I ask you to leave? Who the hell are you? What's your name? Hey. Who brought you here? My name? Hmm? Forget about who brought me an animal. Eh? My name is Iziko. Iziko, the official security officer in this compound, recommended by the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Ne badge. Will you shut up your dirty smelling mouth? Who the hell are you? You idiots. You don't talk when I talk. You don't cough when I cough. Big fool. Now get out. Madam, see ya. Will Nami, you shut up? Nami be in charge of everything when they happen for this compound though. Nami be the official security officer number one. Oh gosh. Eh? Gosh. Where did Ginny bring this animal from? See, Ginger did not bring any animal. Eh? My name is Azik, not Ginger. Get out. Just get out. Ah! Ginny brought a madman in her house. Oh. Eh? She's now calling my animal. Eh? Ginger, bring an animal. Oh, beautiful house. Just the way I love them. I must do my work in this compound, eh? You people know why they are calling me Chief Security Officer. Iziko, no problem. Get that camera, boy, it's a tough flight. Eh? Obo, I got to go tight. I got to prove. You know, something happened this afternoon. I wanted to keep mute about it, but I just can't hold it anymore. Okay, what happened? You know, I went to pick Bibian up. Only for me to come back to the house and I met your friend Obino. I, I don't get. How come he came to look for you in the house? Why didn't he come to the office? He told me. He told you? Yes, he did. He later came to the office. So, how come? Why, why didn't he come to the office? He later came to the office. He talked, you see? <sighs> Baby, come on. It's okay. Let's talk about your friend. So, um, what kind of business does she do? She's a banker. I mean, she used to be a banker, but she's not working right now. Why? I don't know why she quit the job, but I think she said the conditions under the stress was a whole lot for her. So, for now, she's just running around trying to get some other place to work and all that. And again, she's having an accommodation problem. Yes. Baby, that's why I came into the picture. She's a nice girl. She needs this job. Just... What do you want me to say? Yeah, I wanted to show you something. Come on, see. Sorry, 
Philomena. Right? Mm. Philomena. Mm. I want to ask you something. I've been meaning to ask you. Ah, ah, ah. Are you a nothing mother? Are you? I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. ah, I don't know what you're talking about. The first day I stepped my foot into this house, I observed that your dress was soaked with something that looked like breast milk. Now answer me. Are you a nothing mother, auntie? This question where they ask now, we know they who wants to be a millionaire. I said no. You want to force me to talk what I know to do. Oh my gosh. Are you talking to me? Are you talking? So, you mean you don't know what I'm talking about, right? Yes, I don't know. You don't have any idea of what I'm talking about, right? I don't know. Okay, no problem. Jimmy must hear this. trying to tell me that I've been keeping a nursing woman under my roof. I mean, I've been living with a nursing mother. Jimmy, on two occasions, I've seen her dress soaked with breast milk. What? It's a good sign that she's breastfeeding a baby. Wait a minute. Are you saying she's been breastfeeding my child? Well, I didn't say that. What are you saying exactly? Just go straight to the point and don't bust my brain for my sake. Jimmy. What are you saying? Jimmy, do you actually breastfeed your baby? I, I mean, that's a st stupid question. Why, why would you ask me that? Uh, of course I breastfeed my baby. Uh, you know, uh, I don't get it. How come you said you always see how it's Stained clothes of. I don't, I don't get it. What's going on? What's going on in my house? Jimmy, don't worry. Let's not just talk about it again. Let's say something else. But seriously, you need to be careful. You really need to have your eyes on your baby. Since you're ready, let me get the car keys so I'll drop you off. Please wait. I have warned you to be careful in this marriage. And I can't give me a name. You have two women in this house. And funny name overloaded. Mama. Mm. And you can keep them. What is this? Don't you know that you have kept in your house? Oh no, God, what did you for that thing that I just saw? You feel in a vineyard? Mama. What's to talk about this all the damn time? Okay. Have you called her dinner, Kana? I have called Dr. Nakan. I've already told him that I'm sending the money for the girl. Okay. Mama, for Christ's sake, you need to be coming down. Bibian is just a friend who has helped me in the past. A friend that has helped you in the past. That's all. This future, now, present, the help of Genye, Oh, yes. It will be what? <laughs> okay. Go and get your car keys. We'll finish the discussion in the car. Mama, I don't know why you always like this. Why are you always spoiling my mood? Anna has on what I want to call you. Uncle Tibula Daddy, if I want to tell you, the minute he cites it, Everywhere, standing. Ah, second mercy. Can you get what and give at a passier tap as ourself? Are you saying she's been breastfeeding my child? Well, I didn't say that. What are you saying exactly? Just go straight to the point and don't bust my brain for Christ's sake. Jimmy. What are you saying, Jenny? Do you actually breastfeed your baby? Um, hey, babe. Hey. Ah, welcome. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. No, you're not okay. You look terrible. I am fine. Tell me, what is it? Babe, I am okay. I was just missing you. Are you sure? 
Okay. I'm here now. So, sit. <laughs> so, how was the day? Eh, hey, it was okay. So tell me, how was yours? Fine. I've sucked my secretary. Why? What did she do? Why would you do that? Maybe I'll gist you later. But before then, let me freshen up on there. Eat fresh on there. I'll gist you up there, okay? Okay. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, I am fine. She's a simple woman. She's a simple woman. Do you know she don't have evil in her mind? Yeah, a simple woman. Pure heart, pure mind. What she wants is her right. Pure heart, pure mind. What she wants is her right. Oh, oh, Mama, move up, Mama. Hey, Papa, move up, Mama. Nifa. How are you? I'm fine. You're welcome. Um. <laughs> How was work today? Oh. It was fine. Very fine. Take no say you they give him picking breast. I sick. Bring your voice down now, eh? I don't want me to hear you. Bring your voice down. Damn, do already know say you they bring you give him picking breast. So what do you she don't know? Be say she don't know. Eh? I sick. I beg. I use God with the heaven. They beg you. You see today, count me out. I don't get strength. I don't get one strength. I beg. Just leave me. You hear? You hear? I want day my day, you day your day. I day something. I beg. I don't tire. Okay. No wala now. Let me see, make I go. I beg. Go. <laughs> no wala. No they need that. Yeah? Mm -hmm. They need that. No wala. I go go. But I go come back. Uh, I go come back. I go come back until you wait to carry me come. Now for your own good. Eh? If I come by, we will come down. I will come tell you the thing. Don't forget to need down. I go go. Don't no worry, I go go. And fire. But wait, so. How my madam did find out? How did she know? Because I know she knew the Isaac Teller. But that beans. That small beans. Bibiana. Je sais ma chite là. Ma chie. Hoi. Godé. C'est tout moche. After you. Ma you. Ma worry. C'est tout moche. Je sais ma madame no believe her. So then for just take pour chier me comme on for this house. Tam.
you something. And trust me, this is a top secret. It's just a secret between me, my husband, and his friend. Okay, I'm listening. After the question you asked me yesterday, I felt the urge to tell you about it. What question was that? Because I can't even remember. You asked me if I was breastfeeding my child or not. Uh-huh. What about that? I've been married to my husband for seven years. And we were not able to show anything for it. It doesn't mean he's not medically fit. We are medically fit, though. Come on, Jeannie. You're confusing me here. What are you talking about? You've been married for seven years, nothing to show for it. What I am saying is, I've been married to my husband for seven years yet. We're not able to have any issue. And he's the only son of his family with so much pressure. What are you talking about? What about your son, Prosper? He's not my son. You're joking, right? I'm not. That's the truth. What? Why would you people adopt a child? You guys are so young. At least you, you would have waited for one or two years or thereabouts. I mean, uh, adoption, it's not good. <sighs> well, for God's blessing. <sighs> we had to go with the option from his friend because we believed that Adopting a child would bring blessings to us. And trust me, Prosper has been amazing. I mean, we don't even regret adopting him. I just wanted to share with you as my bosom friend. This is unbelievable. shocked. No wonder I've not seen Ginny breastfeed that baby since I came here. If she is medically fit as she claimed, why is she not yet pregnant for her husband? Hmm. I'm still suspecting that house girl. I'm sure she's breastfeeding that baby. The reason is what I can't tell. They said they came to see you. They came to see me? Yes. <sighs> Baby could have called me. Eh? I would have come home immediately and sent them back home. Because I wouldn't want them to sleep here. But it's late now, I can't send them back again. 
Baby, I thought you knew about their visit. Trust me, I... I... Babe, I told you I do not want to see those evil men again because they knew what happened to my father. Baby, I'm sorry. I swear I never knew you did not invite them. I've been waiting for you to come back so you can tell me what pieces you have with oh. those evil men. Jimmy, I, I didn't know. Jimmy, this is unlike you. Baby, I just said I am sorry. I didn't know, please. I thought you knew about that visit. It's getting cold. Mm. Philomena in my friend's house as a house girl? Why? Are her parents truly dead as she claimed? Her friend was angry with me the last time we met. I must find out. I must find out what really went wrong. Journey of life, journey of life. Love of mother. I've been trying. I've been trying. I've been trying. I've been trying. To be honest with you, I'm still wondering why Richard did not, did not uh, by any chance inform us about let us know about the new baby. I'm confused myself. As far as I'm concerned, his wife was not pregnant when they came back to the village for his late father's burial. Oh, three months ago, just three months. You're right. Hey. You are very, very right. Yes, and I don't know. Good morning, sir. Ah, good morning. Good morning. Uh, sorry, I was so tired last night that I. I was so tired last night that I couldn't talk with you people. There's no problem. Let me tell you see, we are happy that you now have a son. Yeah? <laughs> I thank God for that. So can you say why you're here? I, I think I'm running out of time. You see, Richard, we are here for a very serious issue. Okay. And it cannot be discussed in the hurry. See, go to work. Uncle Achike, what is that thing that is so serious that you cannot discuss in a hurry? Say it. You said you should go to work. Come back. When you come back, we discuss this. Mm -mm. That's not true. I cannot have both of you spend the night in this house again. And then, Richard, mm -hmm. what are you trying to do? Are you trying to chase us out, out of our own brother's house? It's my father's house and it's also my own house. So I wanted to say why you're here so you start going back to the village immediately. Mm, I can see you have lost your mamas. In fact, now I see the very reason why you have refused to come back to the village so you can sit down and share our little brother's talk. Yes. What did you just say? You had him right. And let me tell you, and that is why we are here. And now, now, now listen, Richard. Please avoid trouble and problem. Please go in there, gather all our brothers, talk to Nellis. I mean, of all his own properties, bring it down here. And now listen, make sure you do not hide anyone because we have to split it into three. You have only one hour, just one hour to leave this house. Else, you will regret ever coming in here. One hour. Richard, we are going nowhere. We are waiting for you. Ah, look at this woman. Now, man, see. One hour. Eh? Just one hour. Okay. Okay. If you like, make it one second. No, 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 no. We are going nowhere Bash. until we we finish shadow this. Okay. Now let me tell you, Richard is joking. I know. Of even on my have come down, we're here waiting for you. No, 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 no. Hey. 
Those evil men, they are pushing me to the wall. They are really pushing me. If they do not leave here in the next 30 minutes, I'm going to deal with them. Okay, fine. What did they do? Imagine. They came all the way from the village just to share my father's body. What? No, you're joking, right? No, they killed my father. Now they want to share his properties. Why are they like that? Why? Uh, what is your problem? Okay. People, listen, you have to calm down. Huh? Don't, they, they will go. They have to go. You see why I told you I don't want them anywhere around me? I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to put you through all this. <sighs> Trust me. Please just calm down, okay? I'm sorry. What is they keeping him inside? I thought they said time was against him. Are you asking me? Stop. If you like, let him finish for them. We are waiting until I show them. Okay. Oh, you me. You're still here, eh? You're still here. We are not going anywhere until you do exactly what we ask you to do. For real? Okay, you want to know what I will do? Eh? You want to see my color, right? Unche my hand game, eh? Okay. Oh. Okay. Don't worry. I will show you. I will show you. Just sit down and wait. Sit down and wait till I come back. Eh? Then you will regret ever coming here. Richard, we are waiting. Mm. We are waiting. You're waiting, go eh? And come back. It's okay. We don't see you. Nonsense. You will regret nothing. Let's look at this. Go out and come back. I'm waiting for you. Hey! Of the matter. We are here. Wait till you go and come back. You come back and meet us here. But seriously, my husband just said you guys should go, right? Why don't you respect your old age and just get the hell out? It's not that hard. That me shake on me. Me me shake on No, no, no. Let me ask you. So you have the audacity that you married. You, just, you have the impetus to ask us, us, to go out of our own brother's house. Eh? Now let me tell you, if you don't shut that thing you call the mouth, Eh? And go upstairs, do something same with your life, or go to the kitchen and do something. Uh, don't mind that. Don't mind that. Just perfect. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. You and your husband owe us explanation as to the true identity of that baby you call your son. Bam. Yes, General. I don't know whether you bought it. If we take that child sort of own blood, eh? Don't mind that give him. Don't worry. Just pray. Oh, check on my God. You know what? I, I, I'm done with this. Stop. 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 Your husband did the right thing by getting the magistrate. My dear, those old men, they are nothing but big fools. Mm -hmm. I mean, why will he be dragging someone's property with him? Who does that? They will learn their lessons by the time they spend days in place cell. My dear, mm -hmm. I don't even care how many days they spend there. They can rot there for all I care. Mm -hmm. That's why I said the reason my husband has refused to have anything to do with them. I mean, he has been avoiding them ever since he buried his father. This is one thing with all these uncles in the village. They are extremely wicked. They are dangerous. Ha, ah, hmm. my dear. My husband is even suspecting them of having a hand in, in his father's death. You know the man was poisoned. So it can be anybody. Nobody is trusted. Are you serious? I'm telling you. Your husband needs to be careful. Those men are dangerous. My dear, in fact, he is extra careful. Hmm. It's not done. Hey, you have to pick one. Uh, so. uh, wow. Jimmy. Jimmy, baby. <laughs> um, has your husband found another secretary? Uh, not yet. Why do you ask? Um, Jimmy. Please, help me talk to your husband on my behalf. What for? Uh, to give
give me the job. Let me work as his new secretary. What? You want to be my husband's secretary? Bibian? What has come over you? I mean, when did this one start? Since, since when? Eh, uh, Jimmy, please now. Uh, it's better to be busy than to be idle. Please help me talk to your husband. I really need this job. Please, you know I'm working hard. You're not serious, right? Ginny, please now. Let me talk to your husband. Ginny, please now. Uh -huh. Ginny, please. Ginny, Can please. you stop romancing my legs? I mean, I'm a married man for Christ's sake. Ginny, uh, please now. Okay. Not my face. Okay, talk to your husband. Please now. I'm your sister. Vivian. Oh, my please. I'm please. Get the hell out of you. Please. about my daughter. The dream I had last night concerning her marriage is, is really worrisome. I think I should go to the city and let her know about it so that we can all agree and pray together over the situation and her family. Family from more than one gets very nice. Sometimes. Mama, there is something very important I want to tell you. Okay, what is it? Mama, listen. I am not happy with the arrangement you went to make with Iberi's family. I am not happy with it at all. Mm. So what do you want to do about it? Mama, I don't think I will marry that girl. Never. How am I even sure I'm the one that got her pregnant? Mama, see, that is not the problem. I can take care of her until she puts to bed. But me to marry that girl, Mama, me, never. Are you okay? Mama, is she the quagi, Mama? Mama, what did you just say? <laughs> You see that girl? Inusigie. Inusigie, no kajwa kisi wenye. You must marry her. Mama, I will not marry. You cannot force me to marry anybody. Never. Mama will not marry that girl. You're walking out of me, Abby. Mama will not, I will not marry that girl. Nobody will force me to marry that girl. Never. That will be over my dead body. What is wrong with everybody in this family? Hey, ma Mama! Come and force me to marry her. Sent her to the market to get some food stuffs for you. But she ought to be back by now. It's been long now. Her prosper has been crying upstairs. What kind of woman being is this? Oh. Let me carry him. Really? Yes. Thank you. Mm. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh my God. He, you know, this girl has to explain to me what has been keeping her in that market. Only I've started to get me food stuffs and yet. Not. Is she okay with him? Yeah, I'm fine. I can carry him because I'll have mine soon. Jimmy, have you talked with your husband um, concerning the job stuff? Yes. Well, yes, I, I did. Uh, okay, what was his response? He said he will get back to me once he comes back from work. Jimmy, please, help me talk to him. You know I need this job. I don't want to be idle. Listen to me, girlfriend. I've said everything I'm supposed to say. And he sounded so negative about all this. But you know what? Let me just wait until he returns. Just wait. 
just pray he says something positive. I, I pray so. Pray. So let me get something from the kitchen, okay? I'm suspecting this genie. I will blame her if the husband doesn't give me this job. Are you sure she's even happy that I want to get the job from her husband? <sighs> Baby. Oh. What? Oh, the baby is sleeping. Carol, sincerely, the, the pressure from Obina is getting too much. I might end up losing my job if he opens up to Richard. Obina, what does he want from you? The idiot said he is still in love with me. Excuse me. He's in love with you after abandoning you without pregnancy. <laughs> he must be out of his mind, sincerely. But Philo, come to think of it. If you ask me, I will say leave that house immediately and go back to the village. I see danger ahead of you. Well, I did not ask you, so keep your opinion to yourself. You and I know, I've said this before, I can't give up. I've come too far already. So what exactly are your plans? Because I keep wondering what your plans are. What do you intend to do? I don't know. Truly, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just relying on God. I don't know. About Obina, what do you want to do about him? I have told this idiot that I aborted a pregnancy, yet he won't believe. I don't know what else to say to him. Philo, Philo, I am not happy with you. I am not happy at all. This wasn't what you told me from the beginning. It wasn't our initial plan. I'm going home. I need to get to the house before my madam starts looking for me. You're always walking out. I would walk out. Check this out. What's this? Check the content. Where did you get this from? In Philo's room. Philo's what? Philo's room. And who, who, who is Richard? Who is Richard? I don't know. Or maybe you ask her when she comes back. I'm going to expose everything to Richard if you do not open up. Who is Richard? Wait. Could it be my own Richard? No, she dare not. And who is to be at that protest letter in the first place? Why did Vivian say this? She said nothing, mother. Before you accept her, before you make a mistake, you know, like I'm, I'm coming from the market. If you lie to me one more time, I will give you a very lefty hot slap that will reset your brain. I asked you a question. Where the hell are you coming from? Mama, I'm, co I'm coming from the market. You're coming from the market? You, Philo, you're coming from the market. I asked you to go to the market to buy ordinary food stuff. Look at your time. Four good hours to come back home. You forgot you had a baby to take care of. That's why the way. Who has this letter? The, the, the letter is 
It's Who mine. Who has the letter? Are you now a stammerer? No, it's... Who has it? It's mine. It's yours. Right. Now, tell me. Who sent the letter? Um... My, my ex-boyfriend. Really? Nice. Who is Richard? Richard is my current boyfriend. Beautiful. Wonderful story. So only you have ex-boyfriend and also a current boyfriend. So this is what you do. Philomena, this is what you do when I'm not around. You abandon my baby you're supposed to be taking care of and bring a different man into my house. No, no, I, I swear. You swear it? He, he has never come here to look for So me. how did he send you the letter? He, he delivered it to the gates. Ah! And Isaac had the guts to deliver it to you. It's okay. My husband must see this. I will stop you with you. Oh, madam. I am finished. How did she get the letter? I want to sit in there. Grab up my foot. Stupid thing. Get out of there. Don't go to my I see thinking about your miserable life. Will you shut up your mouth? Shut up! So you and Philo had the cost to plan it. Eh? You have to bring strangers into my house. For what? I don't pass this thing. I don't feel do that kind of thing now. I don't feel do I'm now. Hey. You cannot do it. Who brought this letter? Eh? Who brought this letter? Are you deaf? Who the hell brought this letter to my house? Madam. Madam. Madam, now one man. Now one man, you carry and come for this case. Then make a carry and go go give Philo. Madam. Eh? Hey. Yes, madam. Now one man, come. Is someone you carry a gift for you? Yes, if I were you. <laughs> you are a wonderful gift. Hey! 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 Fool! Thank you. I set up your copy! Thank you, madam. You know what? At this point of your life right now, you have lost your job. Hey, madam. Let my husband come back. Madam, I'm here. Come! Madam, I'm here. Madam, I'm here. You suck me and go die. I don't trust you. As a matter of fact, lie down and just die. I'm not going to pass my child. I'm going to lose you. Hmm. So, madam. You, see, you, you. Hey, madam. Hey. I talk. I talk and say I don't want Wahala for this house. Eh? Philo, Philo. Instead of Oga to sack me, madam, go now go tell Oga. Oga go come sack me. Instead of Oga to get sack me, I go there for this house. Eh? See, oh, I get money. I go save money for this house. Buy this guy motor where Oga the drive. Marry this guy. But no go marry this guy wife. Philo, Philo, I go talk. I go talk. I swear I go talk. <laughs> hey, Bagger, I asked her. She said Richard is her new boyfriend. I mean, her latest boyfriend. That's his name. And you believed her? <laughs> Jimmy, there is more to this letter that gives me so much concern. You have to get to the root of this. But I've asked her now. She has told me everything. What does you want her to tell me? Hmm. My dear, I don't believe that girl. I know she's lying. If I were you, I would force her to tell me the truth. Even if it, even if it means to beat her. Let her confess. I don't trust that girl. Are you trying to say that she lied to me? Yes, she lied to you. Jeannie. Wait, 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 wait. Are you trying to say, or are you insinuating that it could be my own Richard? I never said that. She did not. You trust me, Putina! What's it be your own? I ask you, to eyelash, what's it be your own? What's it concern you concern my life? Eh? Hmm. I'm the only one that understands the contents of that letter I found in your room. Hey. Wait. So now you gather mind basically enter my room. Hmm. What did my madam never do since when I come to this house? Now you gather mind enter my own room. Eh? Well, if you care to know. 
I saw you when you told to the gate man to collect the letter. And as a sharp girl, I had to go into your room. I was so curious, so I wanted to know what the content was all about. So I had to... As a sharp girl, I had to go into your room to collect the letter so that I know what the letter is talking about, Mrs. Curiosity. Now that you curious finish, find what you won't find out when you go back, you collect check. Anybody give you money? Oh, uh, well, you've not answered my question. You wanna know? Who is Richard? You wanna know Richard B? See that. 